gentlemen, if you'll kindly give me your attention, accompanying me on this expedition. To an anteater like me, the only end that would be worth a hundred dollars a plate would have to be a pretty big end. I take great pride in presenting the guest of honor, one whom we all respect, and a person to whom we all look up to. How do you do? <laughs> How do you like that? I got nothing. Oh ho! Boy, an anteater can bust up a party faster than a skunk in an air conditioner. Uh, uh, sorry to eat and run, but... Uh... <laughs> I think I put my little bitty foot in the wrong mouth. I better get a little light on the subject. Oh, there's a sign. I wonder what it says. Oops. Say, this is quite a place. Look at all these funny things. Did you ever have heart pain? Well, I got it all over. Uh -huh. Man, I better run for cover. You're covered. Hey, did you see my hat? Describe him. He's a little teeny thing, about so high, and he's red. Wait a minute. Yeah, this must be your aunt. Well, let me have it. You got it. You know, it's tea time, and I'm gonna have you with my tea. One lump or two? Better make it two. He likes it sweet. How sweet it is. public service announcement. Now, all you little kitties under 12 years of age better run out and grab a snack until all this violence is over. That's a good idea. I think I'll have a snack, and you're it. Thank you. Sometimes in these situations, it's hard to keep a stiff upper lip. Settle this in a more gentlemanly manner. I mean, flip a coin or something. Okay, we don't have a coin, so we'll flip you. What do you want, heads or tails? 
heads. Okay, here goes. You take the back door, and I'll take the front. I think I got him. Seeing you fellas are all tied up, I guess I'll go rustle me up a picnic. Bye now. Don't pull. You're only making it tighter. You don't happen to know the number of a good boy scout. Mm-hmm. <laughs>